going on YouTube it's technology mafia here with another tutorial this time we are going to be looking at Lightroom this is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2 they there is Lightroom 3 which adds a little bit um, more features but really Lightroom 2 is all you need um, what we are going to be doing is just modifying pictures to make them appear a little bit more professional so we're going to take this picture of my car and it's going to go from this stock picture to this by the time we're done. So what we are going to do here is begin by uh, clicking on the develop tab. And let's see, it loads up the develop portion of Lightroom. And on the right side is, is really all of the, uh, the controls that we are going to be working with. So the first thing what we are going to do is lower the exposure on the photo. And the reason we do this is because when you shoot a picture using it, if some of you use DSLRs know this, the more overexposed the picture is, the more washed out the colors appear. So if we lower the exposure, it gives us a little bit deeper, richer colors. Next thing, we are going to increase recovery. Um, so you'll, you'll see the effect of this. If, if I slide recovery down, you see it's a little bit brighter. If I slide recovery up, it just makes the colors pop a little bit more. And so now that picture's really dark, we're gonna lighten it up so we can increase fill light. Um, and then let's go ahead and increase brightness here, just so you can see the picture. So brightness is up. And then if we move play with the blacks a little bit, you can see if I go down all the way on the blacks, you can see it's it's a little bit grayish, the box don't really pop. If I increase it just a little bit, the picture gets a nice nice contrast there. So um, we can play with the contrast um, a little bit. You know, minute changes here, you know, the, the small, smaller the change, you actually see a bigger effect as you're going down um, on these, uh, these tabs here. So um, clarity, we want to increase. What that does is just makes the picture a little bit sharper. So if we increase that all the way to 100%, you can see the detail on the trees in the background. Um, you can see almost you know all the branches. If we go all the way down, it's a little um, you know fuzzy. So we'll, we'll increase that, and then we can play with vibrance a little bit. Vibrance and saturation, though, you want to be careful with because. Um, you can get a little bit of rainbow effect and it, it doesn't look re realistic really so a lot of people when they go in and they try to do fake HDR um, they mess with vibrance and saturation and it ends up looking not not really good not really realistic so um, let's go ahead and lower those back down to, to normal levels um, and so basically what, what we've done is we've played with a few of the settings here and that's really what I do with most of my photos is I just mess with the few key settings and then I leave most of the other items there are a lot more options here in, in Lightroom to to change colors and that sort of thing but I leave those alone and it really does make quite a bit of difference so we'll go back to the stock and, and actually we'll do a comparison side to side so um, let's take a look here so we have the stock photo right there on the left and then the modified one on the right so if we split screen it you can see just how big of a difference it makes the really big difference here is is in the sky you can see the way that the sky um, it's kind of gray and kind of cool cool little contrast with the color of the color of the car and then you know the actual car stands out um, even you see this wood bench that's on the left side kind of stands out a little bit more um, what I did here with this photo is, is I did tweak the exposure quite a bit low and then you know recovery quite a bit high 100% in either case negative 4 exposure. On most of the photos, especially if you're editing photos of you know, family members or, or people, you want to be careful with those and just make smaller adjustments with a vehicle or you know if you're doing nature, um, landscaping or, or cityscapes, you can you can mess with the with, uh, um, the settings a little bit more but with people you want to be a little bit more careful so that's a quick tutorial here um, in Lightroom again on how to make your photos just stand out a little bit more make them a little bit more 
professional. If you have any questions, please post them below. Um, rate this video and subscribe to my channel if you learned something, comment below. And if you have suggestions or recommendations for future videos, um, you can certainly comment those as well. Thanks for watching and have a good one.